Hello everyone, welcome back. For those who are new here, I'm Umar, the founder of Growthwinner. On this channel, I share my learnings and insights on SEO. In this fourth video on article writing using ChatGPT, I will share how to generate the content, one of the most important and most awaited part. First, let me show you how I used to obsess over once for all prompt to write an article. Here is the prompt with freaking 9000 characters. I have tried it all from long prompts to shorter ones and rigorously testing it to find what works. Now, after thoroughly researching our topic and creating an outline, it's time to write the blog copy for our blog post. This will include writing compelling introductions, detailed body sections, and strong conclusions. But before you even write a word, here is the most important step, editorial guidelines. In this step, you instruct ChatGPT on how you want the tone to be, the reading level it should follow, what to avoid, the text format, and if you have any particular notes, it should take care of while you're making the text of the article. In short, to ensure it doesn't produce shit content. <laughs> All you need is clear and direct instructions for tone setting. Don't say write in a humorous and serious tone. Both are opposite. Rather, you can mention write in a conversational and down to earth tone. Obviously, depending on the type of article. Instead of saying conversational, you can use other adjectives like friendly, inspirational, straightforward, authoritative, professional, etc. You can also follow the writing style of a famous writer like Ernest Hemingway or a publication like Forbes. The second thing in the editorial guideline we have is reading level. 130 million Americans, that is 54% of adults between the age of 16 and 74, lack literacy proficiency, is actually reading below the equivalent of 6th grade level. Unless you are writing on a complex topic or targeting technical people who explicitly expect technical language in their article, try not to exceed 6th or 7th grade reading level. This technique alone can help you make your articles sound better. Now, we always instruct AI tools on what to do. As Charlie said, turn a situation or problem upside down, look at at it backwards. So we will instruct ChatGPT on what not to do in the avoid section of our editorial guideline. If you have generated a couple of articles using ChatGPT, you may notice that it repeats itself. If it's a medium of the funnel article, it will sound salesy. And for God's forbid, if you ever ask it to tell a joke or add humor, it will mess up. Are you all all right? Yes. No, you are all all left. To avoid stuff like that and limit fluff, cringe, or high BS or the mention of a brand name of your competitors, we instruct it clearly in our avoid section. The third thing in the editorial guidelines we have is text format. With human's attention span lowering to less than a goldfish, if your article is not skimmable and I can digest it, honestly, I will bounce to another article that does that. <laughs> So you have to tell ChatGPT what format you want it to follow such as using short sentences, short paragraphs, a lot of word space, etc. And if you are writing it for a section, you can explicitly instruct on what you want in that section, either bullet points, table, number lists, etc. And lastly, we have notes. In this guideline, you instruct ChatGPT for any article-wide instruction. This could include but not limited to who your audience is, asking Chat to define the new terms, citing new sources, etc. Also, I have a list of my GPT's cringe words that I asked Chad to avoid using. Will Chad GP follow the instructions to the letter? Nope. <laughs> I reject your reality and I substitute my own. Do you remember the limitation of ChatGPT? It hallucinates a lot, but it's far better than not instructing it. Here is what the editorial guidelines look like in the form of a prompt for my tiny home cost article. By the way, huge thanks to Kevin and Ben for this step of adding editorial guidelines before writing the article. Before we continue, please check out my on-page SEO checklist video so you can better understand the type of the article you should be generating. All right, all right, we are now ready to generate the article using ChatGPT. I'm pretty sure the article you generate after this process will be 100 times better than the article you get when you ask HRGPT, can you please write a 1000 word article on your topic that ranks number one. One of the best tips I got and followed religiously with the content creation is to write section by section. Do you remember Jasper from the old days? It always tempted to generate the article in sections rather than spitting the walls of text in one go. We will follow the same approach. We already have the headings and subheadings from our last video. I highly recommend watching it out if you haven't. Otherwise, you may need 
need to think of them while writing the article. As I said, for each section, we will instruct ChatGPT on what to include. Keywords you want to use, think of the semantic phrases from topicalrelevance.com, any key points, number of words if you are going to specify, what would help the reader in this section, and any vertical question. Your personal experience, any writing style instruction such as adding table or bullet points, etc. And if you're writing it for a product, you can mention what benefits to cover or specifics that you want to highlight. That's why I asked you to do this research and complete the homework while creating a content brief. It saves a lot of time. Gentlemen. Time is money. I can give you a simple prompt of how it will look, but there is no one size fits all type of thing. Why? Because each section is unique. You have to prompt each section differently with specific instructions. And here is what the prompt looks like for the first heading of my tiny home cost article. Wait, wait, wait. Omar, the article was supposed to start with an intro. Where is it? That's the trick. I have tested it with hundreds of articles in different niches and ChatGPT always screws up the intro when we write it first. <laughs> Fucking disappointment. So we will write the intro at the end once it has the full context of what we discussed in the article. Now, did you notice the output in markdown format instruction in the previous prompt? It will give you the output in the format followed by Google Docs and you can even paste it directly into WordPress. But if you copy that from ChatGPT and try to paste it directly, it will add asterisks, underlines and other symbols used in markdown format. The solution is to use any markdown to HTML converter and then copy your text from ChatGPT and then copy the HTML preview version to paste the text into Google Docs. After generating a section, there are two possibilities. Number one, you didn't like the specific sentence or paragraph. You either need to cut down some information or need more explanation for that section. Alternatively, you didn't like the tone. Number two, ChatGPT used overused phrases, aka cringe words in that section that was generated. To copy the first one, copy that exact line and place them inside square brackets to refer to what you are talking about and make your ask. Here are the two examples of me telling ChatGPT what's good and what's bad and having it change for me. If you don't like the tone, simply ask for it to be rewritten according to your instructions that is friendly, down to earth and with a 7th grade reading level in our case. To solve the second issue where ChatGPT uses cringe words, I use two approaches. Number one is specifically ask not to mention those words. They sometimes work and sometimes don't. And number two, ask it to redirect the section. It works every single time. Trust me, it's gonna work. So you are asking it to write the same section and don't sound robotic this time. And here is one example. Again, I want you to understand the principles of writing the article rather than handing over a bunch of random prompts that you can just copy, paste, and call it a day. I really, really care about you. As the Chinese proverb goes, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to catch a fish, you feed him for a lifetime. By the way, you can get these example prompts on screen and other prompts from Gumroad. The link to that is in the description to download. Now, repeat the same process for all headings until you conclude. If you have any question, comment down and I will answer them as soon as possible. To write the conclusion, I followed the same practice in the prompt of instructing on how many words I need and what it should include in that section. Since I didn't like it, so I asked you to rewrite and avoid repeating the same information that was already addressed in the blog post. By the way, I have another tip for writing the conclusion. Use Claude AI. Claude is very good at writing conclusions and intros for the articles. Here's the prompt to use with Claude. And if it uses difficult words, prompt this next. Okay, time to write the intro. When writing an intro, make it concise and get straight to the point without beating around the bush. I try to explain the benefits of reading article and preview what's to come in one or two sentences at most. Here's what the prompt looks like for my article on tiny home costs. I will add this example prompt in my Gumroad documents prompt section. Now, if you don't like the intro, even after regenerating it, try adding those research points that we found at the start. Do you remember the topic research video? So, this approach worked very well for me and here's what those points look like with that intro prompt. Now, here is a little trick to write the intro. Ask Chad to write a Google featured snippet and it will write better to compare to our usual intro prompt. I think the reason is that when you mention write an introduction, ChatGPT makes it cringe, while the featured snippet is different from that. And here is the output of my previous prompt. Just like we did the conclusion, we can use Claude AI to write the intro for our article using this prompt. One important thing to keep in mind when using this prompt with Claude is to make sure that while pasting the article, you have the heading for introduction 
introduction and intentionally left two blank lines after it to better instruct Claude on where you want that intro to be. To transition from intro to block copy, use something like let's get it rolling or a similar phrase to indicate that the intro has been finished and that we are now starting to discuss the contents. Even after these techniques, I spent some time tweaking the intro so it sounds better and make the reader stick. Now, if necessary, add FAQs. Here is the prompt that I use to add those FAQs. These questions are normally taken from Google's People Also Ask session, but you can research them however you like it. Once the intro, body copy, conclusion, and FAQs are done, it's time to add the most naughty part of the article, something that will get us clicked. You guessed it, right? It's the title. Here is the prompt that I use to write the title. Try this prompt in both Claude AI and ChatGPT, and then see which one works best for you. That's it for the body copy. I will link the tiny home cost article I wrote using this approach in the description so you can see what it looks like. Now, I want to share another approach and angle to write the article. It was shared by one of my team members. At first, if you see this approach, your mind will scream, this is not true. I said the same when I asked him for help creating this video series. And then he said, but it works, Umar, right? That reminded me of the quote by William. If it works, it's true. He was so confident because he wrote many, many guest posts that we even published on a website with DR90 plus for our growth premium clients. Then we sat down and wrote an extensive article on the topic SEO versus PPC using his approach. In the end, I loved the output. I'll share those prompts with you guys so you can try them. Everything remains the same, only the process of generating the content for headings section by section will change. And here we go. Prompt number one. In this prompt, you just need to change the value of X, meaning how many headings you have for your article. Secondly, paste the outline that we created from the last video in triple backticks, as mentioned. Then, prompt number two. So, in this prompt, you will tell ChatGPT to retard the section by pinpointing the H2 heading in double quotes and pasting the content inside triple backticks. It's the same H2 content that ChatGPT generated after we gave the last output. Observe the instructions that my team member set out for rewriting. On to prompt number three. Simple easy peasy we are asking it to add more explanation i know i know we are not providing any context here this is how it is so use this prompt after it rewrites the content of that h2 from prompt number two lastly prompt number four the difference between this prompt and prompt number three is that we are asking chargpt to add more sentences yes i agree i have told this couple of times in the past to write as short as you can and as long as necessary but this workflow is somehow working for us so i don't care about the rules of the game we don't give a f once you have done this, copy the content for H2 you asked it to rewrite in prompt number 2 and paste it into your document. Repeat the prompts 2, 3, and 4 for all H2s in your article. Once you have rewritten the content for all H2s, use the same process I explained earlier for the introduction, conclusion, and to write the title. I will link the SEO versus PPC article that we wrote using this approach in the description so you can see what it looks like. It's simple, isn't it? Let me know the results you get after using both approaches and if you have any questions, I would love to answer them in the comment section. That's it for generating the content. Now comes to the interesting part, editing and optimizing the content in the next video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video from the series. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.